Here you can see the basic screen. It's selected by tapping on the drop down menu at top and selecting basic. This top portion here is your graphical display of the waveform and the weld settings that will automatically change as you adjust different parameters. For example, selecting different metals will change the characteristics of the waveform. The next step when selecting weld parameters is determine which type of weld you're going to make. Whether it's a thick joint, a thin joint, a corner, adding wire, or welding prongs. Tapping on each one of those will change the weld waveform and the characteristics of the weld. The next step once you've selected your parameters, for example, stainless steel, thick, is to then adjust your energy. That's achieved right here on the screen. You can slide the slider to choose a different energy, or you can use the plus and minus buttons. You notice that above the slider bar, there's a little circle. That is your spot size indicator, meaning at an energy of 59.2, that is the size weld that will result when I make a weld. The same weld spot indicator is found up here in the top right corner of the screen. With the welder, you can also adjust the rate of fire from single fire to one weld a second, two, three, four, up to five welds per second. Once you've established the parameters that you want for your weld, you can hit play in the bottom left corner. That will initiate the welder and allow you to make a weld. If you accidentally adjust the energy and you forgot what your settings were before, you can use the undo button found down here. Simply press the undo button and it'll walk backwards through the last set of weld changes that you've made. Redo will take you forward through the progression. Reset will allow you to reset all parameters back to the factory defaults. Please note this does not change any save settings that you may have had. Finally, we have touch detect or foot pedal. Touch detect allows me to make a weld as soon as my workpiece comes in contact with the welding electrode. Foot pedal will only start the weld once the foot pedal is triggered. This is the arc screen. Here you can see in the very top, top bar, we have the drop down showing we have selected arc. The blue portion of the screen is the weld waveform, where it also will read out the various weld parameters. Just underneath the weld graph portion of the screen, you have the energy bar. This controls the weld energy. You can make adjustments by sliding your finger across the bar or by hitting plus and minus to the sides. This circle here above the energy slider shows you the spot size that will result when you make a weld based on these parameters. A similar spot size indicator is found here in the top right corner of the screen. The length slider will adjust the amount of time that the weld occurs. It can also be adjusted simply by sliding it up or down. In general, we recommend you keep the length at the full 100% of the bar. Also note, that automatically changes as you make adjustments to your energy. Here we're at 60 milliseconds of a weld length, automatically it drops to 30. If we go smaller, 15, two and a half at a minimum. Underneath the length, we have the agitation settings. Agitation adds additional energy to the weld. We have four settings to choose, none, negative, where we drop the welder off, the energy, where we drop the weld energy off, pick it back up again, and oscillate it until the end of the weld. Sloped adds energy. It is in a sloping function. Here you can see it starts at the peak value of the initial weld and slowly gets less and less. Whereas sustained, our final option, maintains the peak voltage of the energy throughout the entire weld. The slider bar to the left of your agitation options allow you to control how much of the weld is agitated. You can have the final 10%, you can have the final 50%, or you can have all the way up to the full weld. 
Next we have ignition, standard, and standard plus are the options. You can see the change right here on the graph. Choosing standard means the electrode pulls back as soon as the weld energy is released, whereas in standard plus, the electrode is allowed to pull back slightly before discharging the energy. This means that the electrode is less prone to contamination and sticking during the weld process. We also have on the screen weld the repetition rate of the welds. I can choose single fire, one at a time, or I can speed things up by selecting how many welds per second, up to five welds per second. In this bottom half, this bottom portion of the screen, we have the play pause. Play means I can weld. Pause means the welder will not make any welds. Undo will walk back through the process of changes that I made. Reset will reset the welder back to factory default. Please note it does not clear any save settings that you may have already saved. Touch detect means the weld will initiate as soon as the workpiece comes in contact with the welding electrode. Foot pedal mode means the weld will not be initiated until the foot pedal is pressed. This is the tack screen. On this screen you control all welding parameters for doing resistance or tack welding. You'll notice the graph shows the waveform, the weld energy that you'll be welding with. You can adjust that energy by sliding the slider up or down. Or by using the plus and minus buttons located on the sides. The total weld energy is displayed on the graph as well as above the slider bar. Just below the energy slider bar, you see we have the quick power settings. These are a quick and easy way to adjust the weld energy from a low setting with 30 joules of energy to 100 to 150. We also have a pre-weld delay built in for the tack mode. A short pre-weld delay means that as soon as the weld is initiated, the energy for the weld is discharged. Selecting medium adds a half second delay from the time the foot pedal is pressed or the two pieces come in contact to when the weld energy is released. Selecting long will give you a one second delay from the, begin from the initiation of the weld to the weld discharge of the energy. Play pause. Play allows you to make welds. Pause inhibits the welder from making any welds. Undo and redo allow you to step forward or backward through the, la the, seri the last series of touches. The reset button will reset your welder to factory default settings. Please note this does not clear any saved settings that you may have previously saved. Touch detect will initiate the weld as soon as the two pieces come in contact. Foot pedal will only begin the weld process once the foot pedal is pressed. For tack welding, we recommend to always use the foot pedal trigger option. This screen is the multimedia tab. You can open or close the multimedia list by tapping the white arrow. Once you see the list, you can select from manuals to promo videos to setting videos, adding silver, working with hollowware, and finally to, te to technique videos, which highlight joint preparations. Selecting any one of these will allow you to see a series of videos or documentations related to your welder. You can scrub through the videos. Pause, back up. Here you can see the user manual for your new Orion 150 or 250S. Also here you can note 
Once enabled, you can download the latest videos and manuals via Wi-Fi. The welder allows you to save and load custom saved settings. To do so, first find the settings you like. Let's say I'm resizing a ring and I found that I like these parameters. I can touch up here on the save disk icon. I can enter the, I can name the weld that I want to name. Resize white gold. And I can add notes here. Those could be anything custom to your name, to the size of the ring, to the date that you did it on. Once I've named it and added the notes that I want, I can save as new. I can save it over a selected weld. For this one, I'm going to save as new. You can read that message there. Now you can see, this is a list of save settings. Currently, I only have three. If I had more, though, it would, it would just side scroll, and you could see the entire list. To exit the save load screen, either hit exit down here, or you can tap on the save disk icon. Let's go ahead and load a weld. I'm going to reset my welder just to reset the settings from where I had them. I'm going to tap on the load disk icon, the save disk icon. I'm going to choose resize yellow gold. I'm going to load that setting. And here you can see the parameters have changed to the previously saved settings. To manage your save settings, you can always delete a previously saved weld. Simply tap on the parameter, and then here select Delete Selected Weld. Would you like to permanently delete this? Yes. That's how you save, load, and delete previously saved welds. Next, let's learn about the settings screens. Tap on the settings icon in the top right corner. There are four tabs across the top. Interface, Gas, Timing, and System. On the interface, you have the ability to change the language. Scroll up or down until you find the desired language. You can change the color scheme of your welder. Doing so will change the menu icons as well as the background color of the graph. You can change the volume of the machine. You can change the brightness of your microscope and you can also change the brightness of the screen. On the gas tab, you have the option to adjust your pre and post flow delays. You also have the option to calibrate the gas and to purge the gas. Once connected to an argon gas tank supply, the gauge here will give you a readout of the pressure that you have coming into the machine. The timing tab. Here you can control additional timing and delays built into the machine from your pre-weld to delay, lift-off delay, post-weld shutter delay, minimum time between welds, and duty cycle. The pre-weld delay will adjust the timing from when you initiate the weld to when the energy is discharged. The lift-off delay will adjust how soon the electrode pulls back from the workpiece. The post-weld shutter delay, this controls how long your optic shutter will stay closed after the weld is finished. The minimum time between welds allows you to control how fast a subsequent weld can be made. Finally, the duty cycle controls the agitation duty cycle, how frequently the energy is turned on or off when using agitation. Finally, the systems tab. You have the option to restore all defaults. This will clear all settings. You also have the option to clear all memory. This will erase any saved welds you already have saved onto the machine. You have the option to update your welder over Wi-Fi. This will automatically connect to your local Wi-Fi. You can log in with your credentials and it will look to see if there is an available update. If there is an, if there is an available update, it will automatically download it and install it. Finally, entering test suite. That is used for tech support if there happens to be an issue with your machine. Below that, you will see the system information for your machine with the hardware revision, the firmware revision, and the LCD revision. 
Finally, at the bottom of the screen, you have the contact information on how to contact customer support here at Sunstone Engineering and Orion Welders. To exit the systems menu, simply press exit.